women don't take accountability. If I had an audience of more than two people, I might get some hate response from this one. Oh, come on, just a couple of questions. How hard is that? How do you write women so well? I think of a man and I take away reason and accountability. So I've been watching these videos, men, women, both, talking about why this is. What's with this inability for women to take accountability? What's with it? Okay, so one guy, what he was saying was that men need to hold women accountable. So we, <laughs> once again, are taking accountability for what we're fucking up. Men, we're fucking up. We need to hold them accountable. And if they're mad at you for that, don't worry about it. It's words. So if a woman wants to prove you wrong about accountability, she will take accountability. There you go. There's your proof. If she denies every single thing you say, there you go. Point proven. The most common tactic for people who do not have a leg to stand on is to try to turn it around. So this is why 90% of the time when you bring up the problems of women, instantly they go, instead, you know, they don't answer, they don't address what you said, but instantly they'll turn it around. And when I say they, I mean people who haven't learned, men, women, people trying to avoid accountability, okay? Instantly, they turn it around. They'll flip it around. Well, what about men? <laughs> let's talk about men after we talk about women. So let's go back. Women don't take accountability. It's your turn to address the topic on the table. Mm. Let's take a minute to kiss the ass of feminists. Here's an example of a very responsible person. I'd consider voting for her for president.